Hi guys, welcome to English with Alice. And today, as usual, I have you a special guest. Please welcome Tun Pakon. Hey. <laughs> oh my God, it is tricky. So you know? excited. <laughs> How are you today? <laughs> oh my God, my heart is racing right now. Like, <laughs> I'm so hard. Is this gonna work? I'm. I'm Am I gonna be like your first mistake? <laughs> <laughs> no, no, Having no. Um, today was fun. Like I went to the gym. Mm -hmm. Like this day, I really want to like cope up with my like um down feeling in COVID 19 So I keep myself fit always. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. I've been to my massage parlor. It's uh, the first day of opening. Mm -hmm. Oh, how was it? Um, it was a bit crowded, but I'm happy. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So um, I'm I'm really glad that you are here to, you know, chit chat with me in English, on English with Alice. Oh, I'm so happy. Thank you for having me. Could you please introduce yourself a little bit? Okay. Uh, hi guys. Uh, my name is Tool. Um, it's the Tool is like from a zodiac sign of Libra in Thai mm. because I was mm. born in October, and my sister name is May. My Brother's name is August, but that doesn't make any sense when you name Octo in Thai. So my name is Tung. <laughs> ah, I yeah. see. I'm, 20, I'm 27 years old and I'm an architect graduate, but I've been working in Chobis for like um, seven years, full time. <laughs> uh -huh. I, I love traveling a lot. I love traveling a lot. Okay. And where are you from? Um, <laughs> where am I from? I'm actually born and raised here in Bangkok. And where did you go to school? Okay, so, like, I have always been to um, Thai school in mm -hmm. Thai programs. Mm -hmm. So the first school I went to is um, Anuban Suan <laughs> It's like, it's like in my, like, neighborhood backyard, uh -huh. like, somewhere. Uh -huh. It's like uh -huh. um, kindergarten. And I... Um, when it is elementary school, I went to Juangon Demonst uh, University demonstration. It's Satichula. Mm -hmm, so mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, I studied there since grade one to grade nine. Uh -huh. But um, the special thing is like um, when I was 10 years old in my grade mm -hmm. five, like my mom kind of like wanted me and, my sis me and my sister to get more like uh, familiar to using English. So she shipped me and my sister over to Australia every summer break for like four consecutive times. <laughs> I see, I yeah, see. And I, I was in all boy boarding school. I, I live in a boarding house. And do you enjoy learning English? I don't have any like um, bad perspective towards English. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So I always like discovering new things. But um, mm -hmm. to be there in Australia, it's like a totally another side of the book. Mm. Totally. Like yeah. everyone speaks it and like fluently. So I have yeah. to be like, survive and thrive you know so i have to like uh, work so hard to um get yeah get mm -hmm. my english better so so when you first move there like how do you practice learning english <laughs> um i don't know you know when you're a kid you just mm -hmm. play you just play around mm -hmm. with yeah. everyone and yeah. there is no judgment there's no like oh you're from asia country you were um yeah your english is not native but yeah. the kids just play so mm -hmm. we kind of like um get used to it get using english mm -hmm. get to using english a lot mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and that's that i think where i like learn it bit by bit mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. but this like yeah. totally changed my perspective in english mm -hmm. when i came back here in thailand and i like more focus on working to mm -hmm. get into high school because mm -hmm. um my mom wanted me to get into and you know, Tiamudom is like very famous for its competitiveness. <laughs> I was like working more towards academic that mm -hmm, year. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah. So, um, you know, like when I finished grade nine and about mm -hmm. to like get into high school, which I have to like pass examination, I yeah. went to like two grade school since 8 a.m. to 7 p.m. Like every, every day. And that's like, you know, what Thai kids have to fa face when like, yeah, I they know, are expecting yeah. to get into high school. Yeah. yeah. You went and, to a convent, right? You went to like all-girls school? Yes, yes. Is it's it boarding like, school? 
no, but I'm um, being a conman girl. It's like I'm um, living in a competitive female society. <laughs> <laughs> like being girls. It's not just academic, you know. <laughs> I see. Yeah, there's that like society yes, aspect. Yes, yes, mm -hmm. yes. Since you have to focus a lot, um, in terms of academic, what were your favorite subjects? What were my favorite subjects? Um. You know, everyone in my high school mm -hmm. wanted to get into a med school. Like, yes. they wanted to become a doctor. Yes. But for me, um, after I, like, get into, like, and start grade 10, I mm -hmm. told everyone I wanted to get into an architecture school. I like drawing so much. I want to de design my house and my building one day. And everyone was like, what is architecture? I mean, <laughs> you're going to draw and sell it? You're going to, like... You don't not gonna earn that much, you know. Mm -hmm. um, I just want to like pursue my dream. So I went, I went into um, <laughs> Jula. It's like it's always Jula, you know. I yeah. always like stay there around hungry. <laughs> <Jula>. Yeah. <laughs> so I went to Sathapa Jula or Faculty of Architecture, Chuan mm -hmm. University. It's in Thai program, a five year mm -hmm. program. When you got a chance to study architecture, mm -hmm. do you like it? Is it like what you dream of and expect? Um, architecture is something that you need to combine like art and science. Mm -hmm. Like there's no right or wrong in architecture. Things can get like more beautiful for somebody, but mm -hmm. for the others, it might not. Mm -hmm. So we have to like work so hard to like learn how people perceive everything, like line, plane, color, texture like space you know yeah and it yeah. takes a lot you gotta be like really sleepless you know my hair like got falling off and my <laughs> lips like so dry five, i look like yeah. four. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, it was fun mm -hmm. five years was studying for you five years was um <laughs> <laughs> five legit years was cool so i learned a lot i, I learned how to like progress thing and i like learned to in the progression of development you have mm -hmm. to like, mm -hmm. you have to practice for a lot of like um, preparation, like you know what your what your goal, how much time you have, mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. then you will take steps up and you will like totally achieve it in time. Mm -hmm. That's mm -hmm. that what architecture school teach. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And after you graduated, um, you still feel that you want to be an architect? Um, I didn't want to be an architect because um, I actually interested in real estate, like to uh -huh. develop and to tell more and mm -hmm. that's what my um, family business do you focus on a lot of things a lot of subjects how about english i do i mean i always multitask all my life grew mm -hmm. and um it's kind of like annoying because i know myself it's like a perfectionist i lost a lot on like being a, a perfectionist if I need, I need to done something i have to like give it a hundred percent and it's tiring. Um, yeah. But in English, I, I, I'd say um, I'll just give it a go because I'm kind of like overconfident. And I, I won't care mu that much like how people would think of me speaking English because, you know, the goal is just to communicate. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. True. So, yeah, if the message is um, being sent over, that's, mm -hmm. that's all. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You achieve it. <laughs> yeah, but how did you practice learning English? I mean, from, oh, from, oh, yeah, yeah. from high school so, to now. Um, I, I was, I, I sounded so Australian, like so much like, good day, mate, how are ya? Like before. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, I, I think it, it's like kind of like, it's kind of like, you know, um, appealing. But um, I, uh, I literally watch a lot of like American dramas. Mm -hmm. And when the actors say something, I mimic after them. I, uh -huh. I say what I say what they say after him. Uh -huh. Yeah, and yeah. I, that's how I get into like more confident of speaking it. But I, I made a lot of mistakes also, like mm -hmm. as everyone mm -hmm. does. But in terms of speaking, anyone that you talk to in English? So since I like traveling a lot, I would try mm -hmm. my best to get into that environment where people could chat and be open up in English. And that's yes. where you learn like new words. There's a lot of words that I don't really know. And I mm -hmm. kind of like put it in here. Um, it's my like dashcards. Uh-huh. 
you yeah, carry this, you. you carry this thing all around. Yeah, um, this is for um, TOEFL, uh -huh. and I write the meaning in the back. Oh, great! Oh, yeah. So this is kind of like <laughs> nerdy, right? <laughs> <laughs> if I already give um, a lot of attempt into it, I really want to be like successful in it. But it yeah. depends, like I say. So if the goal is to communicate, you don't have to be that serious. Just give it a go. People can be like judgmental. People can criticize, but at the mm -hmm. end of the day, they will go back and live their lives. So yeah. just leave them that way. Yeah. Yeah. The quality within you, it's like it's there. So yeah. be confident. But if the goal is like in academic and you want to like um, get ahead, you want to step mm -hmm. up high, mm -hmm. you mm -hmm. you might want to like try harder, you know. Yeah, mm -hmm. because you are fluent in English. Um, I would like you to share some tips of how mm -hmm. to be confident in terms of speaking English. Okay, just like I say to all people, um, people can be judgmental, people can be mean, be criticizing about your English. But at the end of the day, they will go back and live their life. So. Don't concern much about it, guys. If the goal is to communicate, you just give it a go. I mean, people will be like so mean if they judge you trying to communicate your message to other people. Okay, so if you want to be you sound to sound more native, you have to practice more. Maybe you're mimicking after the character in a TV series or any person that you want to. Maybe singer, maybe actress, actor. Uh, Or if you want to be more um, critical in academics, um, you may. I think I think they should work um, harder. Maybe they should um, submit something that is helpful in English, like um, YouTube channel. One one mm -hmm. tip that I use a lot and it helps a lot in listening is like it's called dictation. So uh -huh. when you listen to a long sentence, uh -huh. you pause. You uh -huh. like in YouTube, like you pause there and write right after what you hear. And then, Ooh. yeah, and then start to play again. And uh -huh. then another, another sentence finish, you pause and you write uh -huh. what's here. You jot down. Yeah. Ooh. And that helps a lot on, on listening and vocabularies. Mm -hmm. yes, yes. That's, that's really nice. I mean, I hardly practice like that. Mm. <laughs> you have to achieve uh, some level of nerd. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, mm -hmm. Any last few words to your fans? Um, so thank you that um, all, all the people that have been watching this live, also that have been supporting me and Alice as well. So we are just from a little country called Thailand, and but we have the mindset that we want to connect it to the whole world. So we are um, we are global citizens. So yeah, and just. Thanks to her that she made up this like cool program that could advocate Thai people to come out and use their bravery to speak English because it's okay to make mistakes, guys. Totally okay. Yeah. yeah. So thank, thank you, you so Felix, for having me. Yeah, thank you so much for being here as well. It's really great. I mean, your words and everything you inspire a lot of people for sure. Thank you oh, and catch up soon. Have a good night. Bye bye, bye guys.